October, I wasn't so sure I was going to do this film because it was a low budget film for me. I mean, lower than what I'm used to. And it was going to be a hard shoot. And I liked the characters, so I sent Mitch the script. I said, you know, what do you think? And he loved the script, and he felt what I felt about it. The characters were good, and he felt it could be a, a Buddy Giovinazzo film. That was the other thing, too, because it wasn't my own script at first. So he suggested Mark Center. And I knew we didn't have any money to hire an actor like Mark Center. So I said, Mitch, I love Mark, you know, from Red, White, and Blue and The Lost. So Mitch set up a meeting between me and Mark. He called up Mark and said, I want you to meet my friend Buddy. And I met him at a diner in West Hollywood. And by the end of the meeting, he just said, OK, I'm in. I'm going to do the movie. And I, I would have never dreamed to get a guy like Mark Center in my movie like that. So that's a Fantasia story, actually, for this movie. This actually is probably a touch softer than what I like. I like, you know, I like a harder type of horror. And um, this is more in line with, um, you know, maybe Blair Witch or Paranormal Activity. It's, it's demonic. It's, it's, not so, it's not so violent like my other films. You know, it's definitely more creepy. And in that way, it brings me back to Combat Shock, my first feature, which was a film that was really creepy and atmospheric. And I saw this is a chance of doing something completely genre, but also it played to what I like to, to portray, which is atmosphere and character and sound design. Sound design is really important to me. And sometimes when you're doing realistic films, you can't really get too crazy with the sound design because it then it pulls the audience out of the realism. So when you're dealing with demonic possession, it's not real. So it can sound like anything. And you have so much freedom to create a real creepy sound. Every room has its own creepy sound in this film. And so I, I really love doing that. But, but I'd like to do something harder I think, for my next film. My work has a, a common theme throughout. When I write my own scripts, they tend to be, you know, very, you know, singular in their themes, you know. And I have certain themes. I'm, I'm fascinated with poverty and poor people and people who don't have anything. And so my films tend to fall into that range, like Life is Hot in Cracktown and even Combat Shock. So, and I don't really know the other world that well. So when I get a script that's from another world, and I think, wow, I could put some of my own elements in here, I really like that because it opens me up as a filmmaker. Because, you know, what, what I want to see generally isn't very commercial. And I make my films for, for myself and my friends, basically. I just think, like, what would I like to see? And that's kind of what I make.